Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard, and today I'm going to talk about a program called Skype. You may have heard about this. Skype can be used for um, doing sort of internet telephone calls between Skype users for free. You can also do video type phone calls between Skype users. You can even call telephone landlines, like a real telephone number that's out there from a Skype account. Now that does cost you money, but they have some really great deals on that. You can also share your computer screen. Now this can be a great tool for you about how to convert, I'm sorry, not how to convert, how to troubleshoot for other people. So let's say grandma's having trouble with her computer. She can share her screen with you. You, don't, you can't control her screen, but you can see what she's doing and she can share just a portion of her screen if she wants. And then she can, uh, you can navigate her where she's going. No, click right over there. No, no, a little bit farther over. Yeah, right there. That's where you want to click. Things like that. Let me show you how this works. If you go to skype.com, S-K-Y-P-E.com, and you go on there, you can uh, click on here to click download and it'll prompt you to download it now and it's for Mac or Windows and you can share your computer screen Mac or Windows as well as well as the video chatting, telephoning, all of that stuff. If you go um, over to here if you wanted to learn more about some of the other features in Skype they do have certain calling things if you wanted to do it like $2.95 a month. You can also just buy Skype money uh, minutes in other words and they're typically about two cents a minute for calls so it might be a good resource for you uh, but here like unlimited US and Canada 295 a month try getting that kind of deal from your telephone landline service at home so if you have an internet connection here you go make all the calls that you want unlimited and so here's some other options in here unlimited world 1295 a month if you wanted to call anybody in the world a landline phone then that's the cost now if you don't want to call a landline phone like someone's house someone's real telephone, you don't have to. For free, you can just do telephones through one of these things like a webcam with a microphone or one of those headsets that have a built-in microphone. You can use that for telephoning. This one has a video feature could as a webcam, so that's something you can do. One thing I want to point out to you is they do have some headsets that you can buy. So if you don't have a webcam like this, you can check it out. They have things like uh, USB corded phone. So if you really wanted to hold a real kind of phone and not have to sit at your computer, you can click on that. If you click on phones, you'll see here's a Belkin Wi-Fi phone. So it's, it's cordless that you can walk around and you can still make your call using uh, your connection. Headsets, if you'd rather sit at your computer, you'll probably get a little better quality from that. Then you can go with the headsets. They're a lot cheaper as well. Webcams, if you wanted a webcam, because you want to do that video chat thing. I love seeing people's faces, that video aspect, obviously. I do videos on the web. Uh, but there's a gobs of webcams that they can recommend. I have here is a Logitech. They're really the brand. Um, in fact, the one I have, I think, is this one right here, this Logitech Pro 9000. And it's handy because you've got this little stand that you can prop up and angle it and tie, snap it onto things that you might have. I've gone ahead and downloaded it here. And let me show you. Uh, click on the Applications folder. Go down. There's Skype. I click on it, it launches. I type in my Skype name. And by the way, when you first download it, it'll prompt you to create it. Uh, you know, if you don't have an account, it'll prompt you right here, don't have a Skype name. You just click on that, you can create one. So you come up with whatever name you want. And the good thing is, you're in on this early, you can probably get the one you want. For instance, I was able to get Ask the Techies. So if ever you wanted to call us, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ask the Techies. And then you type in your password. You might make it a good password. In fact, it won't let you type in a bad password is the nice thing about it. And because this is an open computer other people could use, I don't want to use it up my Skype minutes, then I can say, remember password? No, I don't want it to remember my password. Sign in. It's going to log in. And I've already prearranged to bring back a former techie, Brandon Jackson. He's going to be with me to kind of test this, to demo this out a little bit. And so there's Brandon. You can see him right there. He shows up on my list. If he's not in my list and there's somebody I want to add, someone sent you an email, say, here's my Skype ID. Call me sometime. Then you can just go to your contacts, say, add a contact, and then you can type in what their Skype ID is. Okay? Or you can also, you know, type in a phone number if you want to. So the Skype ID would be a way for you to, you know, add additional people, and then they'll show up in your list, and you can see if they're online or not, whether they've launched Skype. And this works for Windows and Mac as well. In fact, with Windows, it's really nice because it's down in your taskbar at the bottom, and it can stay on all the time until somebody pops you up, as long as your computer's on, which is handy. So what I'm going to do, now here's Brandon, and I have some choices here where I can say, you know, start a chat, you know, um, send him a file, that sort of thing, view his profile, that sort of thing. 
Um, I can click on that to start a, a text chat, and I can type in what I want, you know, some little text message. Or I can just click on here and call for audio. Let me try the video part. So I can click right there on the video part since I have a video camera. Let me try doing the video though. So it is just ringing. All right, there we go. I, I can hear you, Brandon. You can hear me? I can hear you. All right. I cannot see you though. That's because when it first pops up, you have to wait and hit this little video button right there. Uh huh. So both people actually have to click the video button to show. The button on the upper left hand corner? Yes. Let, let me make sure that we got the right one. Let me share my screen with you to make sure I know which one it is. So All right. I'm going to share my screen and say full screen or just a selection. Well, I don't want him to see everything else on my computer, so I'm just going to say selection. And then I say, OK, yes, I do want to start screen sharing. Then I can scale it down to what I want and say start sharing. Now I'm sharing. So here's my screen. And so are you talking about this button right here, Brandon? Yes. OK, so that's the one. So now I got confirmation that that's the right one. Brandon was able to troubleshoot for me remotely. And you're uh, just next door, right? Uh, yeah, if you call uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, on the other side of the state border. Yeah. <laughs> sure. He's in North Carolina and I'm in Virginia. This is working. We're getting video right away. Um, it's, uh, now, he can't see my video right now because uh, I'm sharing my screen. And so, in fact, if I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. So whenever I'm done, I just click stop sharing. And then I'll show up in the bottom corner again. Hey, there I am. And then, Brandon, can you want to try sharing your screen so I can see what it looks like on the other end? Sure. I love this because it's all just free. It doesn't cost anything. So if Brandon wanted to show me something, like here's a tip in Photoshop, he wouldn't have to, he could just show me on his computer, and then I could do it on my own. So here we go. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna minimize this right now. So now he's sharing his screen with me, mm -hmm. and so I can resize it if it's a little too big for my screen. I can make it bigger if I want to to be able to see it in more detail, or shrink it down, whichever it is that I want to do. So now I can see his screen, and now I can't see him anymore. Uh, let me pull that window back up. Which is such a shame. And I want to click on that one, pull that one back up. So I can't see him, it just gives me the face because he's yeah, such a shame. <laughs> uh, because we got, uh, I can see his computer screen. And what have you got open there, Brandon? Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm, in, I'm into the gaming as well as Photoshop stuff. So uh, this is actually a little competition I did once that we had to, uh, you know, edit a, a photo. And um, you may not notice it, but there to the left of that photo, if I hide all the extras, it's actually a PlayStation 3 that I turned into you. Oh, well, I didn't even notice that at first. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you put a PlayStation in, and then you, what, drew lights over top of it? Uh, something like that, yeah. Lights in the elevators, if you... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's really cool. That fit in really well. It was hard to even tell. Let's see, I'm able to see exactly what he's got on his computer screen. This is handy. Now, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm clicking and waving my mouse around, but it's not doing anything. Hey, quit moving everything around. <laughs> so that, that's not working at all. Um, no. Okay. And now, I can't stop. Now, I can close this window out and stop sharing that way, but you can see how he's getting ready to stop sharing. Go ahead and stop sharing. There we go. And uh, then we should see Brandon's face again here in a minute. Oh. Had to click the video button again. Click the video button. It kind of froze in there a little bit. Yeah. Now you will find videos sometimes like we got, we got a little stuttering right there. It depends on your bandwidth as to how busy a time it is and what your internet upload speeds are. Connections a little bit that can affect it a little bit.